So for the automation modes we have in Reaper, we uh, basically use three of them. The main is read, so everything that is written either by clicking with the mouse or whatever is read as long as we are in read mode. The next one is the touch mode, meaning when I push touch once, the, all the parameters get ready to receive automation and now I can simply play my Find itself alone Mid dark thoughts of the grey tombstone Not one of all the crowd I played my audio and I drag and drop or drag uh, the puck with the mouse and then I can, I can do a simple automation being written into my files. I can play it back. So I go to read mode again. Find itself alone. Mid dark thoughts of the grey tombstone. Not what. If I want to continue writing automation. Find itself alone. Mid dark thoughts of the grey tombstone. Not what. It's not easy. Find itself alone. Yeah. Mid dark thoughts of the grey tombstone. Not one of all the crowd to pry into thine eye. I recommend always go back to the read mode when you've been writing something with the touch automation. Now, uh, the, the mode I think is very useful. I first want to delete all the, all the uh, points here. And I can do this by choosing the lane, the crack, and delete points in the session. So now I have a clean automation again. Now I'm going to show you how I often use uh, static uh, automation being written. And I can use this for equalizers, I can use it for basically anything, but especially for panning it's very useful. So maybe I want to have one panning here, so I can go into Latch Preview. Latch Preview is accessed by pressing Shift P. So press Shift P. Now we are in Latch Preview mode, and now I can simply touch uh, my puck or whatever something in the in the equalizer or whatever and then make a selection and then press shift p again and now you see it's been written into my uh, uh, controls here so the x and the epsilon have been written now maybe i want a different automation here So I can do another selection. I go into latch preview mode, press shift P. I go maybe here and I write it and maybe another selection here. Shift P, ready to receive automation. I go here, shift P. And now I can run it. So shall find itself alone. Mid dark thoughts of the grey tombstone. Now what is interesting is uh, we have a, a thing called transition time. And the transition time is set to, I think, 500 milliseconds, so half a second. And if you want to change this, you can find it in the Reaper preferences. Go to automation. And here's the action transition time. 
I think 500 milliseconds is, is quite handy, but of course you can also put it like to one frame, so 40 milliseconds, then it reacts a lot faster. Let's maybe move it to 40 for once. Apply, so that's one frame now. And I'm gonna write here again. So I go to Shift P, I want maybe this. Shift P, and we see that the transition time is half a frame now, or it's a frame now, yeah. 40 milliseconds is one frame. Find out for yourself what suits you best. But uh, I think these automation modes, especially the latch preview, is very handy. I use it a lot when I write automation on equalizers. I can set up everything static. Uh, so I could take my equalizer now, go to latch preview mode, <laughs> maybe do something like this, and write it. And it's not been written. Why? Let me find out. Maybe I have not correctly set my... Okay, maybe now? Yep. Okay. That's it. I didn't write, I didn't write it correctly with Shift P again. Okay, maybe here I want, to, I want uh, something different. So I choose another selection, I go to Shift P, I want something like this here. <laughs> something like this. I write it, I have to go back first, I'm in the wrong window now. I need to click the edit window first and then I can uh, push comma, uh, Shift P again. Now it should be written. <laughs> yep, now it works. <laughs> and neutral. So that's a function I, I used a lot in, uh, in Pro Tools before. And I wanted uh, to use it in Reaper in the same way, and I was very happy to find out that this latch preview mode really helps me in doing so. 